first of all, on the injury front with Marcus and Rafa Varane and uh, Scott McTominay, what, are they available this weekend? So, uh, positive, yeah, Varane, definitely pos um, available. Scott joining in training. I think when final training will go well, he will be in. Also, Resi, he trained um, the whole week, but uh, today he reported he doesn't feel well. And so he's, he's ill. We have to see how we recover during the day and then see tomorrow. This Obviously, Manchester City um, reached the Champions League final this week with a fantastic performance, which I'm guessing kind of sets the standard that you have to match as a whole. How does that affect the group that you need, the players that you need, and then the ability to go out and spend in the transfer market. How, how do you look at that when you see the level you've got to reach? Ah, when I see this project, so it's, first of all, important to get into the Champions League. So I, I don't think and uh, today at that standard, I look to the next game and that's Bournemouth. We have to win that and to get into the Champions League. So we have everything in our hands. So. A focus on the game. Our games coming up, first game most important. Have you had conversations with, I don't know, Richard Arnold, with John Murter about what, what is going to be available to you? Are we talking every day? Uh, Fraser. Uh, Eric, as far as uh, Bournemouth is concerned, how impressed have you been by the turnaround that they've had after flirting with relegation and, and now finding themselves in a, a really good position? I think. Um, as far as I can see, I think it's uh, really brilliant as a club as Bournemouth. Uh, they are that long in the Premier League and now already three games uh, before end of the season. And they are uh, definitive uh, for next season in the Premier League as well. So I think it's a massive performance from them. So it's a good team. It's a really good structure in that team. You can see clear patterns. So uh, well done. And how much of a threat do they represent to you? Obviously, you have this game in hand as far as qualification for fourth is concerned, but you have to make sure that everybody is focused and fully ready. They can't take anything for granted at all at this stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you tell it right. <laughs> so I don't have to. Eh? You already reply your own answer. <laughs> Ellen. Uh, Eric, obviously uh, we heard the news about Phil Jones today. I know that you haven't been able to see him on the pitch, but obviously he's been at yes, United. Yes, 20 minutes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you were first training of the year, but I think he has great career and what he all achieved. Uh, I think winning the Premier League, winning FA Cup, winning Europa League, uh, be present on two World Cups, massive career, Man United. So uh, all the credits for his career. And just on, on Marcel Sabitzer as well, obviously he won't be available to you for the rest of the season. Is, is he somebody that potentially you could look to, to keep here on, on another loan or, or a permanent deal? We will see, uh, but um, it's not our main focus. Main focus is Bournemouth 